Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want to ask you this. Have you ever felt tremendously lonely? And I'm not talking about loneliness where you don't have someone with you. I'm talking about being lonely in a room with multiple people, feeling loneliness at home with your family. Have you ever felt like you don't belong? Have you ever felt afraid? Does fear has a grip on your life? Do you feel despair? Do you feel lost? Do you feel as if you're in a place right now where God would reject you, where you feel this disconnect with him, or you're at a place where you're asking, is he real? Regardless of how you feel right now, I want you to think about this. Hebrews 4 verse 15 and 16 says, for we have not an high priest which cannot be touched by the feelings of our infirmities, but was at all points tested as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace so that we can obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. In the Old Testament, it was the job of the high priest to go before the Lord on behalf of the children of Israel. They did not have a direct connection with God. Their relationship was through the priest to God. But in the New Testament, Jesus became our high priest. He became that sacrificial lamb that died for our sins and he tore the veil that separated God from man. That is why Paul told the Hebrew church, he said, listen, he feels and he understands our infirmities. What are infirmities? They are our weaknesses. They are calamities in our lives. They are sicknesses in our lives. And he said that we have an high priest that understands how we feel because he himself was tested at all points as we are being tested right now. Then in verse 16, Paul said, listen, he wants us to come boldly, not with shame, not with fear, not with, with um, uncertainty. He wants us to come boldly to the throne of grace. What is grace? Who sits on a throne? A king sits on a throne. What is grace? Grace is kindness. Grace is the favor of God. So he wants us to come to the king for grace. He wants us to come to the king that understands how we feel for grace. He also said, at the throne of grace, that is where you will find mercy. What is mercy? Mercy is forgiveness. Mercy is caring and understanding. Mercy is compassion. But mainly, mercy is forgiveness. So at the throne of the king is where you will find mercy. Then Paul goes on to say, you will find grace to help in the time of need. Are you in a place right now where you need help, but you can't seem to find anyone to help you? You've turned to your friends, you've turned to your family, you've turned to, you tried everything you possibly could think of, but you can find nothing to help you. I want to encourage you tonight to find yourself at the throne of grace because there you will not only find grace to help in the time of need, but you will find mercy. God is encouraging you and he's encouraging me right now to come to him. It doesn't matter where you have been. It doesn't matter what you have done. It matters that you understand that you have a high priest that understands where you are. Listen, it doesn't matter what other people say or think. Because in Mark 2, when Jesus heard um, the Pharisees, they were talking, um, talking about him. They were saying, you know, why is he hanging out with the publicans? Or why is he hanging out with the sinners? And it said something like this. Listen, if a, a person that is sick, that is not sick, does not require a physician, but he came not 
for the righteous, but he came for the sinners to call them to repentance. He came for me and he came for you to call us to repentance. But there is an only repentance at his throne. There is also grace. There is favor. And I want to encourage us. I want to invite you actually to come with me because I'm going to go to the throne of grace because I not only need his mercy, I need his grace right now because in this time with what's happening in our world, I need his grace to encourage me, to carry me through on a daily basis. Listen, God will never reject you. He will never turn his back on you. Man will do that but not the God that understands your weaknesses. So I want to encourage you to go boldly to the throne of grace because there you will find forgiveness and there you will find grace to help in the time of need. I am Alison Cornelius and thank you for joining me on Manna of God.